What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition. I'm answering some questions from the Tiger Fitness Facebook group. Well, because I wanna help people and that's what we do. But anyway, go ahead and join it. It's on facebook.com, go to Tiger Fitness Group. It'll take you right there. This question comes from, let's go with Juan JTT. So I'm guessing he's Juan T and he just calls himself JT. Does the type of carbohydrate consumed really matter for long-term success? Not really talking about IFYM, but flexible dieting. Research coming out is showing that a sugar is a sugar in the body and all that matters is even below your energy requirements lose fat. They're also showing benefits via blood analyses. So what are your experience with it? Well, I do agree that caloric balance is, well, it's a majority. It's a huge, huge part of the fat loss equation. It is the main part of the fat loss equation by a mile. While insulin and other hormones in the body play a huge role, at the end of the day, if you're not in a caloric deficit, you're not gonna lose fat. I know you have the keto people saying that you could be hypercaloric on keto. It does some magic thing. All the studies I've shown show that, <clears throat> all the data I've seen, show that calories still matter. And I've done videos on this. And I'm not gonna sit here and make this a keto versus processed sugar argument, but I'm just using it as kind of a point to prove that no matter what, calories in, calories out matter. Now, I'm gonna look beyond what you're saying, okay? We're gonna just take this and we're gonna say, okay, are processed sugars okay if you're trying to lose fat? The answer is yes. As long as you maintain a caloric deficit, you will lose fat. However, I will make an argument for long-term health that is not the wisest choice. For blood sugar response, for insulin response, simple sugars or processed sugars or glucose cause an insulin spike in your body. An insulin spike is pro-inflammatory. An insulin spike, insulin is also the storage hormone. Not only does that help store nutrients in your muscle cells, it helps store them in your fat cells. So at the end of the day, that's not a good thing. Also, if you're trying to lose fat, let's look at another thing, satiation. Look, you can put a teaspoon of sugar, and that's a whole lot of carbohydrate. For that teaspoon of sugar, it'll probably take you to eat about a pound of broccoli to get the same. <clears throat> now, if you're looking at overall weight loss and or weight control over the long term, satiation is a huge part of that. We also look at overall health and wellness. At the end of the day, processed sugar or processed carbohydrate generally has very little to no micronutrients or any nutritive value other than its macronutrient status of carbohydrate to it. So think about it from a health standpoint, would you be better off eating a banana or broccoli or even oatmeal or even a whole grain, which has those added micronutrients, added fiber, added nutrients that'll really help you perform, function, and stay healthy versus having sugar? So you need to ask yourself, what am I eating for? Am I eating simply for fat loss and I don't give a fuck about my health? Then yeah, I could say, all right, am I eating to be more satiated so I'm not miserable all day? Well, yeah, maybe I should have some more whole foods. So the bottom line is, let's not overthink this. Okay, <clears throat> here's what you need to do. Set your protein at one gram per pound of body weight if you're dieting to an extremely low body fat, 1.5 grams per pound of body weight of protein. This is per overall weight, unless you're obese. If you're obese, then go to your goal weight. If you're of normal weight, let's say 25% body fat and under, just go a gram to a gram and a half per pound of body weight. If you're trying to get an extreme contest lean mode, again, Helms 2014 showed us about a gram and a half per pound of body weight is a good place to be. Fat, we can argue all day. I like 0.3 at the lowest, but 0.5 grams per pound of body weight of fat. So for me, at, let's say I weigh 220, let's say I weigh 200 pounds. That'd be 100 grams of fat, okay? And it would be about um, 300 grams of protein, okay? That would be optimal if I'm losing fat. Let's say your overall calories are 2,500. Take the overall calories from the protein by multiplying your grams by four, multiply your grams of carbohydrate by four, those are your calories. Let's say you have 1,000 calories left over from carbohydrate, okay? You have 1,000 calories left over from carb, I'm sorry, fat, you multiply that by nine. So let's say you have 1,000 calories left over for carbohydrate. That's times four, so 250. 250 grams of carbs. Now, take those 250 grams and make sure that majority of them are filled with good carbs. You know, you have your oatmeal, 
You have your broccoli, you have your apples, you have your bananas. You have your micronutrient dense foods, your whole grains with fiber, they satiate, they make you feel good, they give you sustained energy. But let's say it's the end of the night, you're hungry, you want a snack, you eat something fun, you have a pastry, you have a Pop-Tart to be cliche about it. Whatever it is, you can fill it in. So what flexible dieting does, it tells us that no matter what, we can lose weight if we abide by the law of thermodynamics and we stay in a caloric deficit. However, this doesn't mean you should eat like an asshole, okay? This means that take 80 to 90% of your total carbs or whatever and make them good. Make them micronutrient dense. Or as the bros say, clean carbs, bro. Even though white rice has pretty much no friggin' micronutrients, might as well eat sugar mostly. But anyway, I, I digress. Then you know what? That 20% that left over? Go ahead. Have a piece of pie. Have some fun with your life, okay? If you're in the South, have some sweet tea. As long as your macros are the same at the end of the day, fat loss will be equal. However, or very similar. However, make sure most of your carbohydrate or your food sources come from macro, my, mac, mac, micronutrient dense foods. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts. Comment down below, like, share, subscribe. I'm Mark Lobliner. That's not a game.